Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm happy to be with us again. This is Brother Francis Sisibo um, coming in from uh, Lagos, Nigeria. Praise the Lord. Um, we've been talking about bullet points in the, in the kingdom. Um, this program actually is called Yahweh to Face. That is us beholding the Lord face to face. So, um, but today I, wa I, uh, I want us to talk about something that we have never really paid attention to in the body of Christ, and that is the aspect of power. Now, there are different kinds of power, you know. Now, when somebody is talking about power, you know, in the secular world, we think of maybe electricity. Some other person would think of maybe a wrestler or a boxer, you know. Um, but there's also what is called authority. Authority is also power. I mean, if a president of a nation comes in and makes a decree, everybody obeys it. That's power in, in, uh, in action, praise God. But there is a power that we are not aware of. And that is the power of resurrection. Praise the Lord. And we see that in the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 1. You know, um, that uh, scripture, um, or that Ephesians, Ephesians, that Ephesians chapter 1, unveils a lot to us. It tells us about the uh, where God receives his counsel. You know, a lot of us don't know that God... Uh, is motivated by the counsel of his will. It is his will that directs and instructs all that he does. Praise the Lord. You know, and also in the book of Ephesians chapter 1, we, we see the different uh, spirits. Some, you know, the early or the first two or three spirits of God. Praise the Lord. Um, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of uh, understanding, you know. Uh -huh. Praise God. So, but if um, to bring us to uh, the scriptures, if we look at the book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 1, um, I would read from verse 15. And it says, Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus, and love unto all the saints. You know, uh, we n always never understand how vital, how important love is to uh, 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 is in the life of a believer. Now, this is what Paul is saying to the Ephesian church. He said, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints. Mm -hmm. So as a believer, you're supposed to have love for the saints. You're supposed to love your brothers. Mm -hmm. Praise God. You're supposed to love your brethren. Hallelujah. That is how you... That, I mean, the head cannot say, I don't want my hand. Mm -hmm. The hand cannot say, I don't want my stomach or my legs. You know why? Because it's one body. We all are one body. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So we are supposed to love our brothers. We're supposed to love the saints. Mm -hmm. So here Paul is saying that after I have heard of your love for all saints... Mm -hmm. Verse 16 says, I cease not. So it, it was something that he did continually. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. To give thanks for you. So that brought joy to him. And to make mention of you in my prayers. I mean, if Paul, the Apostle Paul, prays for you, I, I dare to say that that prayer will be answered. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm. So Paul is saying that out of the joy, you know, uh, 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 happiness, fulfillment in his heart, he began to give thanks, you know, and then to mention the official church in his prayers. What did he say in his prayers? What was the uh, uh, prayer points that Paul, Paul, Apostle Paul, was uh, um, using in his prayers? He says one in verse 17, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom mm. and revelation in the knowledge of him. You see, so there's the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Now verse 18 says that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you, might, you may know what is the hope of his calling. A lot of believers, we don't know why we were called. 
Uh, some of us think that we are called, uh, we became a Christian because we, uh, uh, we are going to escape hell. It's, so, it's okay, you will escape hell. Another one, some people think that, oh, it's uh, so that we can go to heaven. Mm. It's okay, you will go to heaven. But, you see, that is not all that there is. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is the hope of your calling. And then here it says, the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you might be able to know the hope of your calling. We need to know what, you know, what is in our calling. What exactly were we called for? Hallelujah. Amen. Now, if you know what you're called for, it gives you a sense of belonging. It gives you a sense of being and it gives you a sense of purpose. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It says that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, you may be able to know the, what is the hope of your calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Mm -hmm. that, uh, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe mm -hmm. according to the working of his mighty power. You see, power has been mentioned here and there. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Exceeding greatness. Exceeding greatness of his power towards us. So that power is being released towards us. And we are supposed to receive that mm -hmm. power. That power is meant for us. So we are supposed to receive it. We are supposed to acquire that power. We are supposed to gain that power. We are supposed to inherit that power. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Now, it says... And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe according to the working of his mighty power. So the, that mighty power is working. It's not static. It's progressive. It's working. Hallelujah. And it's working towards us. And then verse 20 says, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places. Far above principalities and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come, and has put all things under his feet. Praise the Lord. And had given him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness that filleth all in all. Hallelujah. So, bringing us back again, I want us to see that power. There is this power that we're talking about. It's called the resurrection power. Mm -hmm. It's the power of resurrection. That is the power that raised up Christ Jesus from the dead. That power has never been displayed. Mm -hmm. When God said, let there be light, that was power at work. You know, But that is not the kind of power we're talking about. This power is the power that it has the ability to raise Almighty God from the dead. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And that same power is made available for us that we also might, even though we have been quickened in our spirit, our soul also has to come alive. Our body has to come alive. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans that if that spirit that raised up Christ Jesus from the dead dwells in you, that same spirit, hallelujah, will woo, will Bring to life, quicken your mortal body. Praise the Lord. Amen. So it means that God expects your body to become immortal. Mm. God expects your soul to become immortal, mm. even as your spirit has become immortal. So brethren, there is work. You need to know. Your eyes need to be open. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to have understanding. And then more of all, you also need to know what the hope of your calling is. The Bible tells us in the book of Colossians that Christ in you, the hope of glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.